Man City have gone ahead to knock out Bayern Munich in a fixture that saw themselves really draw 1-1. That takes the aggregate to 4-1. Remember the first leg that was played at Etihad, City beat Bayern Munich by 3 goals to 1. Erring Haaland against scoring and taking his tally to 12 goals, though you would have gone ahead to really make it 13 after he came out and really scored. After he came out and missed a penalty, I think it was in the 16th minute of the game. That's when he really missed it. So welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Rokan David is my name. Let's get into the match reaction today. Now, <clears throat> today, Man City have formed themselves into their fourth semi-final ever since they started playing the game of football. And, 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 out of those, <clears throat> out of those four times, it's only once they've managed to make it to the final now are they going to make it to the final again that's another big one to really come in here and really discuss about because city are really a team that has gone ahead to do the need for and obviously win lots of games and obviously give us vibes that are really meant to be into those teams that go ahead and really put up good performances down in the Champions League. Remember, the manager, he has gone ahead to knock out today, that is, Thomas Toko is just a manager that <clears throat> that failed Pep Guardiola to win what we call the Champions League, that is in the year of 2021. Remember, they played the finale, Mason Mount scored. Mason Mount scored the only goal that saw them <clears throat> really put up a very that Sumison Mount put up a very good cross that found Kai Havas and Kai Havas found himself in a position of really killing off the game in a very good way and Chelsea packed the bus, City tried all their ways, <clears throat> it never really came to happening. Now, we all know as it stands that it's going to be Madrid, mm, it's Madrid versus Madrid versus AC Milan and I think Bayern. Bayern versus it's not Bayern it's it's Man City versus Inter Milan because Inter Milan has gone ahead to beat Inter Milan has gone ahead to beat uh, to knock out to knock out Benfica I think on an aggregate of five two because the first game ended two nil in Benfica and Benfica couldn't put the ball <clears throat> across the line this time round they've gone ahead to score three but. They were uncalled for because they couldn't match the win that Inter Milan really won away from home. Now, after that, we are welcomingly waiting to see how the semifinals are really going to go. In. But let's dig deep into this game. <clears throat> we look at Pep Guardiola. This is the trophy that he's hunting up. He's hunting, he's hunting this trophy up. He's hunting it. He's hunting it, you know, he's hunting it badly, <laughs> that's it. And today, it's really another one that has seen him do the needful and obviously go there. But the gold machine of Haaland that he's having, it's really a very important, <clears throat> important player that he's really having. And when you look at how City went ahead to really expect this game of football, it was all about game getting the first goal. And as it caught the 50, the 57th minute, City were already ahead by one goal to nil. And um, Bayern Munich happened to have gone ahead to pull one back in the 83rd minute. It was a penalty taken by Joshua Kimmich. But that wasn't enough to see to it that really getting through. If at all they were to force a breakthrough, they had to find themselves in a position of scoring early enough and putting three past City. But it shows you that Bayern Munich are really lacking centre forward and I think the only difference between Man City and Bayern Munich has always been a centre forward. That's why I brought you a story earlier today telling you that they are really looking in for hurricane because they know what it means to go in such games and not having what we call a centre forward and if at all Lewandowski was in the that Bayern Munich side you never know they would have gone ahead to really cause havoc to Man City at Etihad and even at the Rians Arena. Because at Etihad, chances were there. And you know what me, what it means when you're having a world-class number nine. A world-class number nine can create a moment of magic, you know. But this time around, they don't have that player that can come out and really pull out that moment of magic that most of us are always craving for. So it puts them in a situation of going all out, knowing why they're going out. 
Chopo Moting is not that kind of center forward that you rely on. I've seen him really get a ball in the 6 box area and went in for a baby shot at the near post. If it's a center forward who is really world class, he goes in for roof. <clears throat> you know, all he can try to really improvise something. But <clears throat> that's the problem that they're really having. And I think they should find themselves in a position of really getting a center forward who is really world class. I think Lewandowski was so much helpful for the seasons they played a lot at Bayern Munich. That's why last season they are knocked out by by Villarreal at the quarterfinals because they lacked that center forward and they failed to solve that issue in the summer again and they went ahead and spent close to <coughs> 80 million euros on signing a player Matthias Delit that they rarely use and that was really a very <coughs> it was a wrong move you know it was a wrong move very 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 wrong move for them they would have gone ahead to bring in a center forward that is really world class it's like how you see chelsea did their business you know <clears throat> they did their business not considering their deficit of a center forward even when graham potter was at chelsea chelsea are creating very many chances but they are lacking that number that number nine to execute them so it's the same thing happening at Bayern Munich because today they had close to 17 shots and they had close to seven on target. But if you're having a very, a very good striker who is really world class, those 17 shots at goal turn into 10 shots on target because most times he'll either come in through and, and really do what we call a very beautiful holder play or himself will be involved in shooting those <coughs> balls at goal. So on any good day, those seven shots on target even they can turn out into three good goals if at all you're having a very good center forward because a very good center forward doesn't only make himself good when he's having the ball but even when he's off the ball you know he makes <coughs> good off the ball movements are going to create space for these other players to come in through and obviously enjoy i think Bayern Munich's problem <coughs> has been a center forward though even their defending has been abysmal when you look at how the when you look at the goal that Haaland scores how easily a Pamakano goes on the ground, you know, and he just gives Haaland an open chance to face Soma, the goalkeeper of Bayern Munich, and obviously hits that ball into the back of the net. Even in the first leg at, <clears throat> at Etihad, they are so solid in the first 60 minutes, but a Pamakano ended up gifting the win, sorry, ended up, ended up gifting everything to you a side called Man City and they scored three but out of those two goals they came as a result of Apamakano capitulating <laughs> that's it so it's really ugly for a side known as for a side known as Bayern Munich they need to do a lot of things I read a story coming in from one of their reporters indicating that they are going to do what we call a shake up a squad shake up Whoever doesn't fit to be at Bayern Munich is going to be thrown away. And I think <clears throat> City has shown them that there is a class, they're a class apart. They're a class above them. And I think that Oliver Kahn's of this world will want to build something special at Bayern Munich and obviously create lots of memories of winning the Champions League. Remember, they last won the Champions League in the f in the year of 2020, COVID year. They beat Bayern Munich. Sorry, they beat PSG by one goal to nil. So they knocked out Bayern Munich at the quarterfinals. They found City. <laughs> they couldn't knock out City because City is a little bit, <clears throat> is a step better. Now, let's wait and see how Bayern Munich is going to react. But City <clears throat> has shown us that they are a team that has gotten everything done and dusted today. Obviously, let's go to how the game really went down. 19 shots by Bayern Munich, 7 shots by Man City. Seven shots on target by, by, by Bayern Munich. This is what I told you that if I told you having a, a very good center forward, this 19 turn into 10 shots on target, and you never know. In those 10, you might get three goals because you're having a world class forward who is really clinical when it comes to really finishing off that job. Then Man City had only two shots on target. You know that shows you that Pep came in through and really played pragmatic. He knew that he needed to really defend, and obviously just knock the ball around if at all he gets it but that was not the mission of him dominating play 58 percent possession by Bayern Munich 
Man City had 42% ball possession, 536 passes completed by Bayern Munich. By Bayern Munich. Pep completed 395 passes, uh, 89% passing accuracy by Bayern Munich, 85% passing accuracy by Man City, <clears throat> 12 fouls by Bayern Munich, 11 by City, 5 yellow cards to Bayern Munich, 4 to Man City, 0 red cards to both sides, 2 offsides to Bayern Munich, 2 offsides to Man City, 5 corners to Bayern Munich and two corners to Man City. So that's how the game of football really went down at <clears throat> the Allianz Arena. And obviously, City have gone ahead to knock out Bayern Munich. So guys, your reactions are welcome in the comment section below as Haaland goes ahead to shine and really be flawless. I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And may the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly. Me out.